What is up guys, Jared and PZ. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, we're in our garage. Uh, I don't know if you know, we recently moved back to California. We're in a two bedroom condo and we have zero tools. So we're gonna try to do the install ourselves. It was pouring down rain, we couldn't get the bike to be I didn't wanna wait until the end of the week to do this uh, install. So my buddy Rupp is here, he's gonna be helping us out. Um, I don't know if you remember watching some of my old videos when we were back in California, but he used to do some install, pretty much install everything by Jixxer 600. <clears throat> he actually rides an R1 and he used to have a American Bulldog, so <laughs> pretty funny because he's like exactly the same as Dotto, but out here in California. Um, anyway, so we're going to try and do the uh, NRC turn signals front and rear today. I don't think it's too involved, but again, we don't have many tools. Rep brought some of his. We're going to see if we can do it and we're going to drink some beers and have some fun, sit back, relax. All right, so this is what's on the agenda today. NRC uh, front turn signal, snap-on turn signals. So we're gonna get rid of those big honking penis things hanging off the side of the bike. <laughs> and, and then uh, this is for the rear. These are gonna be the two turn signals. It's actually crazy if you come over here. We were checking it out today. I never even actually looked. This huge thing right here probably weighs a few pounds. We're gonna weigh this when we move this thing. Um, these are actually the turn signals, which seems really odd. I don't know why Ducati, Rep and I were saying, why wouldn't they have put them in here? This is just a reflector, it does absolutely nothing. I thought that was the brake light. You can see it's clearly not. So I don't know what the hell they're doing over there in Italy. Maybe they're eating too much pasta, but so <laughs> down here's the turn signals, as you can see. So we're gonna actually remove this entire hunk of junk. We're gonna relocate the turn signals up here with the NRC pieces. And then um, we actually have to find a place for the license plate. NRC sends a kit that actually puts it over here on the side. And I don't really like that. It kind of looks like a Harley or something. And this is clearly not a Harley. So um, we're going to see if we can, we might not have the stuff to do it today, but we're going to see if we can somehow fit it somewhere under here uh, and make it as illegal as possible. So <laughs> <laughs> that's what's on the agenda today. Say, dude. First order of business. It's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been a while. Cheers, brother. Cheers, brother. Nothing like dudes wrenching and drinking. <laughs> Teens is freezing. The opposite of dudes wrenching and drinking. <laughs> All right, starting off by loosening these bad boys. Right. And looks like it was just an Allen wrench. Was that a three or four? Uh, sure. Sure. Right, let's do this guy. <laughs> We're going to loosen both of these. There's wires we've got to pull out in there. And then uh, we'll see what it takes to install the other ones. I cannot wait to get rid of those big dumb things off the side of the bike. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous. I actually have uh, drag handlebars that are on the way, so we're gonna clean up this entire handlebar section. Oh man, it's gonna look so good. Actually, we might even remove these mirrors today because when I was riding with Rupp on his R1 the other day, he's filtering through all the traffic because you can do that in California. And I literally just had to watch him go because I would have hit everything with these big stupid freaking mirrors, which I don't even use at all. So I think we're gonna pull those off today as well. Guys, if you saw uh, Rupp's truck in the background, he's got a ZR2. Uh, Chevy Colorado and he actually put this uh, black satin wrap on it so that's actually a wrap but he like goes off-roading with this shit they have like the off he has the off-road package and stuff I think we're gonna do some trips up to Mammoth with this bad boy and shred some pow pow <laughs> look how excited teens is about it <laughs> anyway um, Rupp's just removing these slowly there's a little dongle under here you got to make sure you don't break off well actually you can break it off because this is a piece of shit stock piece anyway <laughs> But up next, we gotta loosen this part, take, take this off front. front off, which, which is what he's doing right now. And then there's some wires in there you gotta disconnect. All right, see what's under, see what behind door number one. Ah, there's the connections we were looking for. Simply unplug those bad boys. There we go. And then we can just pull those through and remove that whole plastic piece, I believe. Rupp was just asking me for tools, and I was like, here, do you wanna laugh your ass off, Rupp? That's the extent of my tool set right there. <laughs> That's all we have. <laughs> Honestly, we were hoping to maybe get a house at some point and then have like a nice garage and get it, deck it out with tools. But since we're, you know, in a, in a condo right now, no what? <laughs> you're just saying yeah. no. You don't even know what you're yeah. saying no to. All right, so I'm not sure if you guys can see those little holes in there, but that's where you're supposed to pull these wires through. But they obviously have these crimps on them, or I don't even know what you call these, but they've got stuff on them that don't make that possible, so we're gonna have to cut those off and Rep will have to redo them, remake a set there, so that's what we're doing right now, and then we'll be able to pull them through and uh, attach them to the NRC kit. Excellent. So, I'll let you compare the sides. 
that's what it looked like before with the stock piece and now this is all we have left right here um, both the wires are black so they don't tell you which is positive and negative so we're gonna have to kind of attach them and see what works first before we fully attach it but look at how much better that looks oh man it looks so good with all blacked out and we move those stupid reflectors yeah getting there first thing we're gonna do is test them this is red on the left well I guess it doesn't matter but... hey look at damn they're bright holy shit that's nice that's awesome. Cool. And then, Rep, where do you think we should put these? You think we should put them up high here? I, I say or down low. Ooh, that's a good. Well, I mean, we'll we'll do both okay. and see what we like. I think up high. I I'd say that first. Yeah, because higher the better to be visible. Safety first. So we're just testing placement. Obviously, I think our only two options would be either down here or up here. And I personally think the higher it is, the the better it is to be seen. Plus, it sits flush up there and looks super badass. So. I think we'll keep it up here and it's a little bit loose, so I think we might just use a tiny bit of either super glue or gorilla glue just to keep it right in place there after he makes the connection. So much, much cleaner. Alright, so you can see the connections Rupp just made right there. It looks super good. And then he's just gonna heat shrink that uh, wrapping right there. And then it's gonna look super good. I tried to get a blowtorch, but they didn't have any. So I guess we gotta use the real gun. This is Christina's uh, hair dryer. Yeah, it's so good. Perfect. And then we can just zip tie it back up in there and it'll be like it never even happened. All right, so up next we're just gonna find some wire, or take this wire, uh, kind of like zip tie it together, find a place to tuck it up in there and make it look really clean so you basically just don't even notice it. And I like that we use that black heat shrink so it's just gonna disappear in there. So we actually realized Ducati has these little uh, connectors that you can just unhook and rehook. So we're just going to tuck it in there with some of the other cords. I think that's actually where it went in its stock uh, fitting. So that's like literally perfect. Now we're just going to repeat the process for uh, turn signal number two and get rid of this. Actually, we're going to weigh all this stuff when we're done removing stuff today because I think we can literally save three to five pounds with today alone uh, on our quest to 50 pounds off this fatty so we can get them under 500. Just testing the right hand side there. Look at that. Looks so freaking good. Clean it up that front end so nicely. This one actually slid on really good and snapped on. This one's not moving. Uh, I guess it does a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna actually use Gorilla Glue and and glue them right there so they don't ever move. We don't need our turn signals falling off when we're driving down the road. <laughs> All right, just repeating the process. Keep shrinking that on there. Then we'll find a place to tuck it up underneath. Hell yeah. And I'm not sure if you guys can even tell, but he hid the wires up underneath there. We zip tied them and literally perfect. Good job, bro. Moving on to the back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then to make sure that these turn signals don't go anywhere, it's going to do a little dab of Gorilla Glue here around that some uh, select spots and then make sure that this thing stays right where we want it at the top of that fork there. Now they're Gorilla Glued on there. All the wiring's tucked up in. Obviously they work. Look at how clean that looks, dude. Rough, good job, man. That's fucking badass. I love it. Once these flat bars are on, the drag bars, I actually have pieces that replace these. Big old ugly aluminum pieces. I got nice uh, anodized black aluminum. Oh, that front end is gonna look mean. So now we're gonna move on to the rear end and get rid of this big hunk of junk. Yeah, <laughs> Ruff's like, let me see if I have a ratchet set here. I'm like, why is there leaves and shit in your toolkit? <laughs> Ruff, Ruff literally, he like goes camping out in the woods and stuff. He was in the military. He was a uh, Marine Sergeant, right? Staff Sergeant? Yeah. yeah. Sergeant. Staff Sergeant. So, um, he's, yeah, he's, he's as real as it gets, guys. 100%. <laughs> You'll never believe it, guys. My little tool set came to the rescue. We're up built some shit like a couple of Legos. <laughs> <laughs> and we have liftoff. Oh, I can't I'll wait to get this that. thing out of here. Yeah, look at that. I don't even think that's supposed to go in there. <laughs> but hey, Rep taught me one thing in life. There are no rules, Jared. That's what he always told me. Yeah. It's so fucking true. There's always a way to do whatever the fuck you want. Yep. And there it goes. See you later. Love it. Nice. How heavy is that, Rup? Uh, couple pounds. Three pounds. Three pounds. Three, four pounds. Nice. So there's a connector. These are plug and play back here. So I think we're gonna have to unconnect some shit. Let me give him a hand here. 
All right, so after some zip ties, I believe this is the connector we need right here. Boom! See ya! <laughs> Look at how sick that is! Hell yes, now you can see that big 240 back tire in all its glory. And now we gotta find a place to put these cords. <laughs> all right, next step, we're gonna pop the seat off. This glorious seat, I have a beautiful custom seat cover coming for this bad boy too. Put heat shielding under that because you know how these do come, they get hot as shit. So I think we're up, we have to find a way to fish those cords all the way up to here because we're gonna be putting that and actually we gotta pull this tank up too. I think that's an eight millimeter, so. All right, next step, they want us to actually pull this tank up to get to a connector. So are we gonna remove all that other connector that was down there? Or, because we're overriding it, right? Who knows, okay. We're gonna do what they say. We're gonna pull this bad boy up. All right, so the reason they had us unhook this, we could lift this up and fish this wire out down here, because that's what runs all the way back to the other one, which we no longer need. So we're gonna piggyback off this guy right here. All right, so we fished the stock wiring harness all the way back up through here, plugged it into the NRC harness, and then this is what will get plugged into the turn signals under the seat. Next thing we gotta do is remove this freaking thing. Ducatis, man. Like, why do you have to take a tank off to be a fender <laughs> eliminator, you know? All right, so we got the kit installed. Uh, let me just show you that the turn signals work. This should be left and then right. Obviously, we still have to take this. This is right. Oh my god, yeah. sorry. <laughs> da -da -da. I was thinking this way. <laughs> Woo! Okay, don't worry, I'm just working on your next diablo. <laughs> um, that's what we got rough here for. We realized that this kit is made to be installed while leaving that, that factory uh, tail tidy on, so or fender on. So we're gonna plug this into here and we're gonna leave that hot and we'll 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 plug this other end right down here, just in case the new owner, if they ever wanna put that back on for some reason, please don't. <laughs> Um, we'll leave it there so you guys have that option, okay? So we're gonna plug that in, then we're gonna take this off and, and finish up this uh, rear, rear seat section here. All right, so we got the seat off, then we removed uh, two bolts back here. Yep, those two. Took that stupid reflector out of there. Two bolts. Obviously we don't need anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Ready, guys. <laughs> don't worry, it's gonna work. And then we fed the line underneath everything here, and then it's gonna feet up here, there you go. Those two connectors are gonna plug into this bad boy, finally, and then we can put that up there and see if we can find a place for the license plate after this. So the NRC kit comes with spacers, as you can see. You wanna put those on before you put the bolts back up into there. That way there's space taken up by the spacers. Oh God. All right, now we're gonna plug them in and try it. Let me turn this, there's the right one. Right one, let's see if this is it. Hey, we got it. And then that should be the left one. See if you can reach it. Nice. So much freaking better. And we're just zip tying this line back so it's not dangling down here in our uh, freaking belt drive or anything like that. And in the meantime, I'm removing the uh, license plate and license plate bracket. And we're gonna see if we can find some place to put this. Again, if we don't have the, the stuff to do it today, then I'll just have Trevor do it on Saturday once he does the custom seat install, so. All right, so I got the license plate off of that guy. That's also we removed. I can't wait to weigh all this stuff in a minute here and see how much space or weight we saved. Um, we found some bolts that actually line up with the license and we had some spacers from the NRC kit that we didn't use. So we're gonna see if we can make something happen here. All right, so while Rupp's working on the license plate they're over there, <laughs> I put all the stuff that we took off today, most of it, I don't have all the bolts and everything that we got, but this will be a pretty good uh, representation. So, we got five pounds of weight loss just from today. So that's freaking awesome, another five pounds. I think we're over 30 pounds of weight loss now total. I don't know if anyone remembers, but again, I have the before weight of the bike, which was 545 pounds bone stock with a full tank of gas, and then we'll do the after weight of the bike once we're all finished. So getting there, getting there. All right, let's slide this seat back on, maybe. There we go. Seat's on. Um, we don't have the tools to do the license plate and I don't wanna completely mutilate the plate to get it to fit back there. So I think what we'll do is we'll let's see what Trevor can come up with when he does the seat next week. So I think that's just about it. Let's check that out. So here's the rear turn signal, should be left. And then the right. 
and then right front and left front. That's good? You like it, teams? Mm -hmm. Rob crushed it. Thanks for your help, brother. That's good, dude. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. All right. So there you go, guys. Another episode of the custom Exiava series completed. Got uh, all this stuff cleaned up here on the front and rear ends. Looks really, really good. Rob, thanks for your help, brother. Appreciate it. Um, again, if you guys want to be entered to win this bike, check out the Patreon page if you want to learn more about Rupp and all his badassery. Uh, I'll put links to his Instagram in the description below. And I think that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hit the like button, subscribe for more, and we'll see you in the next one.